Hello, and welcome to Rick's Kits. As you can see today, we've got a vintage Johan kit on the bench. The Studebaker Lark Convertible in 125th, and it's a snap kit. Um, This kit was made in the 1970s, this one. There are kits pre this, which uh, 63, 62, 61, and I believe a 59. Um, this is curbside kit. It was put together and it's been taken back apart. So I'm going to be putting it back together again and uh, I'm going to be painting it as well um, I had a little bit of confusion though with this kit There's, I looked it up on the old internet as you would normally do with things that you're not um, familiar with now from what I could see let me turn, turn this slightly this way. There we go. From what I can see from the pictures that I've looked at, this body line, body shape, is a 1962. But this bumper isn't. This bumper appears to be an early version maybe a 60 or a 61 now not being um and also it's got a little it looks like a seven there which would mean it's a mark seven i'm not sure if we've actually got it looks like a seven it may not be it might might be this Whether this indication is here on the uh, on the wheel, but so yeah, I'm not sure if this is actually everything is in the box. Let's have a look. Bring it up to camera so you can have a look at it. Different. I will get back to you when I've a bit more on this. See you in a bit. Hey, welcome back. Um, the standard lock rim. I thought, you know, I'm quite accustomed to that. Lucky enough, there was four that actually go nicely, I think. Have I found these? I don't know. Over there, terminology for these are Craigers or something like that. Um, but they're, they're very nice, so I've swapped them out, put these in, and uh, I'll show you roughly what they look like. The, the kit is nowhere near started yet, by the way. Just, um, just playing. We need to get that one. Um, this off camera slightly. Get in there. Oh well, oh well, it's falling back off again. Oh. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I think that's so sweet. Definitely staying on the wheel. Um, I say we, me, but me, nobody else but me. Yeah, I'm pleased with the way that looks. That look, that's going to look awesome when it's painted up. I ordered some paint as well. So that should be uh, here in a couple of days, maybe the weekend. Uh, what I'm looking at is a combination of metallic greys 
between the upper and the lower body. Um, which way round I want to put them, I'm not sure. Um, but I've bought a dark gun metal and a light gun metal. That should good look to me. I think I might go dark on the bottom with the lighter across the top. So yeah, but I need to finish prepping this body, getting off the um, panel lines and cleaning up where it's been sanded prior to that. Um, so that's it for the moment. Um, I'll be back when I've got some more. Okay, okay so we're back again. Um, I've got everything painted, all the chrome has been regrowed. Um this body I chose um two tone gunmetal. So you can only you can only really see it in this light. You can't well, I don't know, you might be able to pick it up but you could pick it up in that light as well. Um so we've got for a dark gunmetal botanic or not the <laughs> Dark metallic gun metal, get your word right. A light metallic gun metal. I think that looks really nice. Two tone colour. And um, a bit closer. Will it focus without having to have my hands behind it? Too much light. Uh, so, don't really see it, but that says lark. That's painted off in gold. Um, it's the other end one as well. Uh, the word Studebaker on the back again, it's painted off in gold. A bit of metal foil from the bit in there. Now, I used chrome, a bit of metal foil on that one, and it looks okay. Bit rubbish in the paint there. Um, but I'm not sure I might change that out, you know, because I have black chrome. That might look just as sweet. That might be able to give you the difference between the, the two body colours. As it sits at this moment in time, it, it's going to stay with the chrome, but. <clears throat> May change that at a later date. Um, now that you saw that at the beginning, all this was masked, masked out, so um, apparently the reason in behind that is when you probably can't see it at all. Let's pick it up about here. There's scratches all over this, down here in this corner, all over this windshield. Um, the thing is, it was glue bombed into the body, so it had been previously pulled apart a couple of times, which is probably why I've only got two of these pegs and only three of these caps. Um, the bits have been lost as far as that's concerned, um, and it was going to be given another. You know, another rebuild of some sort. I haven't spoke to my dad on this one yet, so yeah. Oh, I've got a couple of little bits to do. Um, need to get some paint in here on the uh, rear lenses. Um, it's going with a red body. Oh, sorry, a red interior. It's going to be just a plain, just a plain red interior. Put the door mat down I've got the handles on the on the interior there done. Yeah that sort of that fits against that colour. It's really nice. Move that to one side for a sec. Bit cold in here, I'm getting a bit of a runny nose. Um dashboard. Oh nearly had it. Too much shiny. I'll pick it out. Come on. Focus. 
Maybe, maybe not. Okay, but attributes done. Again, red. Red. Convertible boot. I think what it is is because of all this crimey stuff we've got coming on down the bottom here. Yeah? Uh, Stirring wolf done. Put in chrome. Got black shaft on it though. Uh, I kind of like it that way. I'll have to put a tiny little. Um, no, that's normally red in the middle of the, on the emblem in the middle of the steering wheel, but I may put a little bit of gold on there. Uh, freshed up the lights a little bit, you can't, probably, you're not going to see it, I understand you're not going to see it properly. They're a bit dull, so all I did was put a um, very thin coat of Tamiya Extra Thin around it, and it sort of brings the plastic back around again. All the chrome was dechromed and is now re-chromed. Very shiny, shiny. You might just be able to see in the corner there. But like that. This is way too, way too shiny, shiny. Let me get it up close. There we go. Look at that. In the bottom corner there is like a little, and it's a symbol. Looks like a seven, so it's been painted in chrome, uh, in gold, sorry. All the lights have been redone and both and uh, rear bumps have been done. So a few little bits to touch up and I will be putting this back together. So I will see you shortly. There she is. I think that looks sweet, don't you? Put the breakers maybe. And the two tone colour, the dark, the light gunmetal. Finished off with that red interior and the gold lettering on the lark and the Studebaker. That has come out sweet. Now, the snap kit, look at that. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I do like that the way that's finished off. And about the windscreen, unfortunately, but that's the way the cookie crumbles with the kit this old. In uh, and in Harvard's loft for god knows how many years. It is cool. Again, the only other thing with a snap kit, especially if it's been pulled apart a couple of times, is the fact that it will never go back properly. You will have to start adding glue and stuff like that to it. So get this all back in to where it needs to be it's going to have to come apart one more time and I'm going to have to do some gluing just to make sure it doesn't actually come apart this time uh, I tell you that there doesn't appear to be a rear view mirror or a side mirror in this kit but I'm sure somewhere along the line I can find one So yeah, I'm really happy with this. Another one. Uh, nice kit. Really are nice kit. Even as a curb side, this is a beautiful kit and it has finished up. Really nice. But, but, but I, I can't say anything more about it. Anyway. So, thank you for watching anyway. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.